It starts out easy enough. Great. And let's go ahead and look at the tutorial. Or we'll just hop right in. Good advice. And this is Bleep bringing you Loved, a short story side scroller. Um, this game uses simple arrow key controls. Um, the goal is just to reach the end of the level while interacting with the narrator. Um, you can choose to either listen or disobey the narrator. In this run, we're going to listen to him the entire time. Um, those statues serve as save points, so if you get hit, you'll just be warped to the last one you touched. Now, if you'll notice, this lower path here is much more difficult than the upper path. Um, this jump here tends to trick up some people, um, but the trick is really just to throw yourself through by standing a little ways before the jump. The controls are pretty floaty, so you can do that. And hopefully you're good at it because if you're listening you'll have to do it twice. You'll also notice that if you listen to him more the world becomes more detailed so those blocks look kind of like weighted storage cubes. For this run we'll pick body. Now this little block section here is the first and only time you'll need to use the duck. The infamous ducking puzzle right here. Um, the trick is not to put yourself too early in the little trench or it'll just come back and hit you the second you put your head up. Um, this part here tends to trick people up when you're trying to listen, but all you have to do is to stand there for about 7 or 8 seconds. And you want to wait for those cubes to start going down just a little ways, that's the safest route. And now the narrator wants us to not use that save point. But there's one right there, so it doesn't matter. Now those little barbs will follow you, however, they're not going to be a problem so long as you don't mess around too long in one area. and there will be more of those towards the end of the game. Um, the much easier path is the left path, so I usually take that one. You don't have to worry about that bar or dodging that block. And we are very excited. And that was the last save point. The goal here is simply just don't get hit, which is easy so long as you just keep moving. Um, that little bar right there is the only one you'll actually have to go out of your way to dodge. And then from there, all you want to do is hold right until you get down that little trench there. Well, maybe not so little. And we have upgraded to a man. And that was the obedient path. Um, all that's left is to climb this little mountain here. And grab the coin. Now I do believe you can not listen to a couple things, and it'll, you'll still get that ending, but that was without any deaths or disobedience. And now we're going to do the disobedient path or the rebellious path. psychology doesn't work either. No, I hope
hope you like seeing obstacles as red because it's only going to get worse. While you, if you listen, it becomes more detailed. As you disobey, the world becomes more crazy and distorted. As you rebel, you'll have to do some difficult things occasionally too, like kill yourself right off the bat and then dodge that first save point, but fortunately there's quite a few save points in here. And in some cases like this, it's much, much easier, but you'll just get insulted as you go along. It's the same jumping strategies and all that good stuff. It only becomes hard when those little colored pixels are literally everywhere. And it's hard to distinguish where you need to be from enemies, from just gaps. And we get to not do that jump again, so that's always great. And we're gonna pick mine this time. And this little section here is my least favorite simply because it takes the longest. But we get to make a board by zooming right along here. You usually want to wait until they're a little bit higher, but I went ahead for it. Now this is where it starts becoming difficult because those little platforms up there have a lot of gaps and the colored blocks kind of consume everything at this point, so it's hard to see where to go. As well as distinguish enemies, which will become even worse as we get to the little section at the end. Basically avoid them. You'll get a second sight for it if you play. And we are frightened this time. And we're going to fail the first opportunity, and that's the final act of disobedience. Now we just have to complete the game. This path will be slightly different, you'll have to jump a couple times, but still the same concept, just go right as fast as you can. And then he just sends you to this hallway, where you'll walk until the game ends. And that was loved by Alexander Osius, um, one of my favorite Flash games. Um, that little last section at the end, um, there's actually two things of dialogue, and instead of going through and doing it, here's a little annotation of what it is. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed Loved as much as I have. This is Bleep, and play it for yourself at Newgrounds.com.